Hey guys and welcome back to Garage Bouillon and another episode on my flood damage Porsche 968. As you can see my workbench has become a disaster zone again so I'll have to clean that up again. But what I want to bring your attention to is this box on the floor. This is all kinds of new goodies that has to go into this car so uh, we'll open this up in a second. So in the previous episode we disassembled the lights on the front of the car and we managed to clean out the indicators, we managed to restore the fog lights and the main beams. Um, I gave up on the headlights and uh, that's some of the stuff that's in there. So if you missed that episode I'll put a link for you up above so you can catch up. But in this episode we are tackling the rear lights and we are tackling the number plate lights that are somewhere down there. This is going to be a bit of an unstructured video because I've got lots of small jobs that needs to be done. So sit back, relax and uh, let's go. Look at all this filth that I still have to clean out. So I thought that I could disconnect it somewhere here, uh, which obviously I can't. What I can do is pull out all the bulbs, which I will do anyway. But I want to clean this harness properly. And for me to do that, I need to go inside the car and disconnect it from there and then feed it back through this grommet here. I've got the taillights on the table, um, they're quite dirty so I'm going to start by just trying to blow them off a little bit and then we'll start trying to clean them and taking out those bulbs afterwards. Let's hope we can save these guys. we got two cleaned harnesses and um, they can go back into the car these little dividers I need to pop back into the lights once I have them out of the machine um, and I have to go and order a whole bunch of bulbs to make sure that we have the right bulbs when we want to put the car back together so let's see what came in the box Let's see. I hope this is not imitation. And it's not. This is original Porsche, so that's already a good sign. Mm, it should be this way around. That looks nice and fresh. So these will be going into the car. Awesome. So let's start cleaning these headlight housings.
right, so I think you just saw me struggling with getting all the parts back in. You'd think I'd know how to do this since I only took it apart about a week ago. But um, there are three things that has to go in. It's this bracket, this trim ring, and this adjuster mechanism. So my first thought was that this goes in first, but then you can't clip this ring onto a little lip in there so i now know for a fact this has to go in first then i thought i could screw this in second which works but then i can't get this guy to go into this spot here so i need to assemble this as one unit that goes in then the headlamp goes in let's hope that works I just want to remind you that the three bolts that you attach this bracket to this bracket with, all three of them needs a little bit of Loctite. It's the only ones in this assembly that needs it, but make sure you put it there because if it's not there, you could lose your headline. Alright, so as you can see, I'm using the same White Vision Ultra range from Philips as I was using for my mains and my fog lights. Um, so the color, color temperature on the front of a car will match. It's something that I'm really pedantic about. I hate it when I see a car driving past that has some yellow and some white lights. So I was searching for quite a long time to find a set of lights that works on this car. And that turns out to be this White Vision Ultra. So I'm going to drop that into the um, reflector and then we can mount it up to the bracket. All right, there we go. The parking light we will do once it's on the car because that plugs straight into the harness and then just squeezes into this little hole here. So uh, let's get this guy onto the car. That looks so much better and I've also gone and polished the inside of these fenders already to make sure I don't have to come back and polish them later but you can see super clear headlights they look awesome this is probably the first part of the car that's completely finished and doesn't have to be touched again unless obviously the motors don't work then I'll have to open that up again but I trust that the motors work so um, we'll test that in another episode but now we can move on to the rear lights and I'll show you what that looks like so this is what the uh, rear lights look like after they've been washed by me and also by the dishwasher for a couple of hours. There's still a little bit of sediment in them, but it's not that bad. And I think I can live with it at least for now. So um, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to reassemble the harness and the bulbs and all of the uh, paraphernalia that belongs with these lenses. So one of the things I'm going to do, which some of you might think is sacrilege, is I'm going to upgrade my bulbs to LEDs. These are from Osram and it's from their LED driving SL range. Um, why I like these is because they come in color. So this one we're looking at is red. I've also got orange and I've also got white, which means that the light sitting inside this cluster is just a little bit nicely colored. Um, if you only have white ones, they tend to be a bit washed out and these solves that problem. So let's get this set up on the dining room table and then we can build uh, some rear lights.
And there we have it, two restored rear light clusters. They are looking really, really good, and I'm very happy with the results. And they are ready to go back in as soon as we have cleaned all of this mess up. But in order for me to clean this mess up, we need to take off the bumper, and that's a whole different episode. But that means that we have come to the end of this episode. As I said to you in the beginning, this will be a whole bunch of small things that needs to get done. But in the end, they added up to two great significant steps on the car, meaning working rear light clusters and working headlights, if there's no other issues in this wiring harness, which I don't expect. So um, I'd like to thank you if you've watched this far and for supporting my channel. And I'd really like to thank you for all your comments, feedbacks and likes. I really do appreciate them. It gives me the energy to keep on making these videos for you guys. So if you're new to my channel and you like this, this kind of content of me pottering around with my cars, please consider subscribing and you will be notified of my next video that will be coming out very shortly. Until next time, guys. Goodbye.